on, a reported that allegedly Meghan Markle has said to Prince Harry yet again that Princess Diana had spoken to her beyond the grave during a yoga session. However, did you know that it's also being reported that Megzi is now using Princess Diana's legacy to promote her new business, American Riviera Orchard? Let me explain. Hey up everyone, it's me, Steph the Alter Nerd, your nerdy alternative, and welcome to another dose of the Daily Nerd, where I break down the royal news and gossip of the day that's pretty much got me eye, and oh my goodness, yeah, let's jump into this madness, shall we, because indeed it is reported uh, that Megzi is using Princess Diana's legacy to promote her new business, American Riviera Orchard, and that the timing is no accident. So, yes, we've got Richard Fitzwilliam, a royal expert, on record here. And essentially, what happened was when Megzi launched her business, her new brand, American Riviera Orchard, this was at the same time as the Diana Legacy Awards. She unveiled her brand just moments before Prince William took to the stage at the awards ceremony. In the hours leading up to that, though, it was revealed that Prince Harry would also be playing his part in the London event, but only after Prince William had essentially left the room, right? And so now Richard Fitzwilliam, the royal commentator, is turning around and saying that the timing of this business launch was no accident. Um, and so, yes, we all know it's American Riviera Orchard by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. And Fitzwilliam is saying that Megs's decision to launch the new business on the day of the Princess Diana Awards was, quote, meticulously planned, saying that Megsy knew it would gain traction and took advantage of it, telling the Sun, quote, given the fact that yesterday at the time and the Diana Legacy Awards, there was a tremendous amount of interest in the very sad fact of the royal rift between brothers. He said Megsy and Hazard jumped on the attention bandwagon. The timing simply means that obviously yes, yesterday the awards would have got them a lot of promotion. Obviously. So it's obvious why they chose this time. As far as the timing is concerned, it's perfectly obvious why the Sussexes have done this. They always plan pretty meticulously. There's no doubt that they never do anything accidentally. They've chosen this week and they chose the day, of course, of the Diana Legacy Awards and a day which underlined the very deep rift in the royal family. Uh, also saying, obviously, we had this just to remind us that the Sussexes are still in the game. People must make up their own minds whether or not it was tasteful to launch this on the same day as the Diana Legacy Awards, obviously being a bit on its coattails of and coming after the problems that Kensington Palace have had. And so do I believe, opinion, conspiracy theory, whatever, that Megzi is using Princess Diana's legacy to further promote her new business? Oh, hell yeah. And let me show you a little bit more, guys. Because this is the thing, right? It was discussed last year, apparently, back in June 2023, that Hazard and Megzi were considering ditching the surname Windsor and replacing it with Spencer, i.e. Princess Diana's last name, in a major rebrand. Oh, yeah. It's all about branding with these two. So one expert stated that they believe the switch up is a bid to align with Diana. So Tom Bower, another royal expert and commentator, discussed this on GB News saying, quote, what's really interesting in the rebranding of the Sussexes is that Meghan decided her real object in life was to be Diana. That has always been a passion. That has also been Harry's passion. And Meghan went to the extent of suggesting that they should drop the name Windsor and take the surname Spencer. So she'd be Megan Spencer, the new Diana. Tom Boa also told Dan Wooten when he was on GB News at the time that he believes it had already been discussed with others with Hazza also taking on his mother's name too, saying they've discussed it not only by themselves but with others too. This isn't something they've plucked out of their minds. They were actively trying to recast themselves as Harry and Megan Spencer. He'd take his mother's name too. It's all about the break-off. They'd also give up the Sussex title because instead you've got the new incarnation of Diana. So not only 
is Megzi reportedly, okay, using Princess Diana's legacy allegedly to further promote her new business, right? American Riviera Orchard. But only last year was it reported that apparently she was the one that came up with this bright idea to, hey, Azza, let's drop the name Windsor and rebrand ourselves as Spencer. Again, using the legacy of Princess Diana to try and further herself. Oh, my goodness. And this is the thing, right? She always has had a fascination with Princess Diana. Tom Bow was correct on this. Because a childhood friend um, had reportedly spoken to Andrew Morton in a book that he released a few years back, saying that apparently Megsy wanted to be, quote, Princess Diana 2.0. Uh, the friend is also quoted as saying, Megzi wants to be Princess Diana 2.0. According to family and friends, she was intrigued by Diana, not just for her style, but for her independent humanitarian mission, seeing her as a role model. Now, this was said um, and referring to a time before Megzi met Hazza. Before Megzi met Hazza, right? Um... And, and, and this is the thing, right? It's like, oh, my goodness. Not only is she allegedly seeing Princess Diana as a, quote, role model, right? But now she's allegedly seeing Princess Diana as a way that she can rebrand herself and try and further herself and promote her own business, American Riviera Orchard. Because it's not just launching that business on the same day as Princess Diana's legacy, right? But it's also the notion that last year it was reported that she was the one that came up with the bright idea of changing her surname as Spencer in a, quote, major rebrand. So, guys, a Binny Conspiracy Theory, whatever, is Megzi using the legacy of Princess Diana to try and further herself and her businesses? A Binny Conspiracy Theory, whatever. Uh-huh. With that being said, if you appreciated this video and you want more, and believe me, of course there's going to be more, then make sure you subscribe to join our Alt and Earth tribe. I'll be honest with you, help us now get to a million so we can also get that gold play button right there and hopefully cause a Meghan Markle meltdown on Instagram. Like, share, comment down below your opinion, conspiracy theories, whatever. Also as well, if you've got some very strong opinions about Megzi allegedly using Princess Diana's legacy to further her own business, and I bet you do, then make sure you send me a super thanks. It's just below this video right here. We can have a conversation about this because it does guarantee a response from me. And until the next time, you guys. Laters.